What up my dudes? I just got down here to the marina and I'm, I'm still in my work clothes. Like what's going on? I was showing some people some houses and then the weather got absolutely gorgeous. So I'm like, all right, screw work today. I'm going fishing. I gotta find some bait, man. That's the only bad thing about starting at 11 o'clock is bait is not as plentiful as it is at daylight. I finally found some baits right up here in front of the boat. Oh my gosh, dude, oh my gosh. Guys, I just sight fished a fish right here next to shore. There he is, fish on guys, fish on, fish on. Oh, there's another huge one with it. I got the small one. Oh my gosh, I got the small one. Oh gosh, look at the big fish with him. Look at the big one with him. All right, I gotta release him and try to catch this big one, guys. Ah, come here, get out, get out, get out, get out. Guys, two, two casts, two fish right here, I guarantee. Oh, he came off. Crap. He swirled at it and missed it. That was wild. <laughs> Dude, that was so insane. Like, I'm going up there to get my cast net, and I see three redfish sitting in the middle of this bait school. And so I grabbed a, the closest rod to me. It had a glass minnow on it, and, and he ate it up. But, yeah, <laughs> that was unexpected, but now i got to catch us some real bait. I think that'll do it. That's some good baits. I'm gonna chum some of these baits out like this right here. Oh, look at them, guys, they're going nuts. Oh my gosh, I gotta throw a lure. Oh, ooh. He smashed it. As Soon as I started chumming these little baits, fish started going nuts. Before I start topwater fishing, I'm going to put this big finger mullet right here down deep. Well, he's technically bigger than a finger mullet. We're going to try to get us a, get us a big fish hooked up. All right, I'm going to pitch one of these topwater baits out while we're chilling here just to do it. Let's see if we get hit because it sure did not take long for him to smash it when I first pulled up here. <sighs> oh, whoa, 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 eat it, eat it. Oh my gosh, I got him, got him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, oh, that's an another Spanish. The Spanish bite is still here, guys. I'm sitting here throwing this lure while my rods are out. Nice Spanish. Look at that one. Oh, there he goes. All right, go go find me a fish. No bottom bites, only top bites today, guys. I just got smoked right here. Oh, 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 come on, come on. I right, got him, got him. Yep, he's on, he's swimming at the boat. I got two rods in my hand. One of them under my legs. What do we got here? Ah, uh, what do you know? Another Spanish, another Spanish. Look at that. He hammered that little uh, L-Y. See you, buddy. So I just moved to a completely different location. I'm actually really close to shore, if you guys can see behind me. And I'm about in about 50 foot of water right here. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do some bottom fishing and see what we can catch. <sighs> oh, ooh, there's a bite, guys. He just, he just smoked it. Oh, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. There he is, there he is. Oh, that's a decent, I think. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, he ate that, uh, oh, look, never mind. <laughs> it's a snapper. It's a snapper. It's a little guy. Look at that. I also need to cut my tag in. My gosh, that was like the longest tag in I've ever seen here. Let's see if we can catch another one. And if, if I hang another little one, I'm gonna put down a big bait and see if we can get a big one. Let's see what we can, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Yep, there's a bite. There he is. <laughs> Man, that quick. I moved, 
to this other spot just to see if I could find a different bite. And there's snapper everywhere. Look at that. Red snapper. They did extend red snapper season this year, so it does open up for, I think, six days here uh, towards the end of the month. I got my uh, I got my big mullet down. He's right here, and so if he gets hit, great. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get some action in the meantime. You know, afternoon bites are never as good out here for me. Yep, there's I'm getting bit though right now. And he's biting it. There he is. There he is. Uh, another snapper kind of cool though man look we're right here next to shore look at this i mean we're right here next to shore catching snapper every single drop let's do it again right here i want that big big rod in the back to take off i catch a lot of redfish here and stuff like that but right now it seems to be flooded with snapper all right there he is there he is Oh, that's a little better one, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. There's no shortage of them this afternoon, though. It is a little better one. Another snapper. Good gracious, it's every drop out here. I'm easing back into the bayou, and I'm going to pitch some of these docks up here. Me seeing all those redfish earlier kind of uh, kind of has me thinking there's more, so we're going to see. There is a lot of bait in here, which kind of has me optimistic. We shall see. Oh man, oh man, that's where I wanted it right there, boys. There he is, there he is, come here. Uh, <laughs> threw it right in his mouth. What did I catch? Oh my gosh, really? Oh my, a lizard fish? Hey. Dude, I was like, oh man, I, th I thought that was Mr. Big Redfish. It was this dumb lizard. Ah. My dudes, so afternoon fishing for me in Pensacola Bay is never quite as good as morning for some reason. It kind of started off a little bit hot, like the bite was decent and it shut down real quick. So I had to make do with what I was given out there. I'm not complaining though, because every day on the water is a good day on the water and the weather was beautiful and I did get some bites and I'm gonna try again tomorrow because it's looking good out there tomorrow as well. And if it's calm enough, I think I'm gonna take it offshore is some of our reefs out there. I usually Usually go offshore offshore with Brian as you've seen in a bunch of my videos but his boat is down for the count right now uh, I think he's gonna be getting it back towards the end of the month and so we'll be doing some more offshore fishing then so but the inshore fishing has been good so I can't complain but guys as always if you enjoyed that video don't forget to smash that subscribe button hope all of you guys have a great week